What's going on guys? Mitch from respectmarisa.com coming back from the 2024 Hall of Flowers here in Ventura, California. I'm here with MJ Matsi of World Series of Rollin'. How you doing today, MJ? Doing amazing. It's a beautiful day out here in Ventura. You know, just uh, chilling. So first off, MJ, has that always been the name or is that is that the the weed pseudo name, man? Uh, it's my first and last initial, or first and middle initial. Okay. My, my real name is Mark Jonathan. Okay, but it, may, it fits the brand of the weed, right? Yeah, I mean, so... I moved out to the West Coast like six years ago. Oh no, that's actually been like eight years now. So yeah, <laughs> yeah time flies in California, but like it's still so slow. Uh, it's weird to explain. You have to live out here to understand it. Um, but yeah, I, I moved out here, uh, kind of wanted to start fresh. So I you know, just kind of started going by MJ. This was even before I was in the cannabis industry. I was okay. in tech back then. So uh, just like the, the sound of it. I don't know, the one syllable name wasn't like, you know, wasn't working for me. Because <laughs> it sounds more of like a sound as opposed to a name. So I like to go with that. I went by MJ and, you know, it's kind of stuff. And it sticks perfectly. Yeah. So so we got some of your art in here, man. So a big thing that you're doing is making smokable art pieces. Yes, sir. How did you get into this? When did you get into this? Uh, So I got into this about October of uh, 2022. So it's only been about a year and a half or so now. Okay. Um, and it was kind of an accident, really. Um, so my brand page uh, for my tech company, Nug Life Club, got shadow banned on Instagram. So I was seeing engagement numbers of like 10,000 like, you know, uh, likes per post. After the shadow ban, it went to like 10. Ooh. So like, I had to figure out a way to connect with the community again and you know, build an audience. Um, so I kind of just started a personal page and I leaned into the shadow bans this time and just like, Okay, I'll just do whatever I want. I'll post weed. If they take it down, they take it down. You know, I, it's not much you can do about it. You can walk the line, but, you know, at the end of the day, Instagram's going to do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started my own personal page. And then I, I just I posted a couple rolling videos, and they kind of just took off with Raw. Um, and I think, like, the first, like, three weeks, the when I had a post that hit, like, 160,000. And then one of uh, uh, Kid Cones up in NorCal was there, uh, rep up there for a little while. Uh, he reposted it and it got 1.4 million views. Um, so I realized that at that point, like rolling content would be, you know, ideal to be like where I kind of, you know, make my lane. So, uh, so I started doing, and then like after a few months, after seeing all the other rollers in the community doing their thing, I kind of just tried to start figuring it out on my own. The first thing I did was a Wu Tang logo, and this is the fourth one that I've done. The other Got three. Uh, well, the first two were not as good. Well, the first one was terrible. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I made it my mission to, you know, excel and evolve and grow my skill set. And, you know, I did this one in uh, February for a competition that I held for uh, a rolling competition that I started. Nice, nice. And so were you always like the roller in your crew? Were you the one rolling the joints and the bloods? Usually, yeah. I mean, it didn't always start out that way, but uh, got to that point pretty quickly. Uh, back on the East Coast, we would always roll blunts. Yeah. Like, you know, we, could, we had to hide the bombs from our parents. Could, yeah. could really, uh, you know, bring them around with us anywhere or anything like that. Nothing about, nothing like it is in California, for sure. <laughs> Where it's just like, you walk down the street now and just sort of... Um, but, yeah, I mean, being a blunt roller when I, you know, came out to the East Coast, uh, West Coast, um, then started smoking within the industry, yeah, just came like the person that everybody went to to roll up for him, so... I mean, I was always rolling. I've been rolling regular joints for like 20 years, but the creative stuff I've only been doing for about a year and a half now. And what what draws you to wanting to roll something? Like, how, what, how's the idea work for that usually? Um, right now, I do mostly commissions for brands. So really, it's been a lot of logos. Uh, and, you know, it's something Weaver's warned me about that I'd kind of get stuck doing, which, you know, I don't have a problem doing because, like, I like doing what I do. And that gives me the opportunity to do that and do projects like these um, I don't really get a chance to do art very often, um, but I'm hoping to get to that point very soon where I have a little bit more, you know, time and resources to do a lot bigger projects and kind of expand my, uh, techniques and repertoire of what I'm able to do. Um, but you know, I've, I have a lot of ideas in terms of doing like actually, actual like gallery installations at Blues and like, uh, at Turk Basil next year, I want to have, uh, they have pretty large setup with uh, a couple of really unique things that. We haven't really seen in the cannabis space yet um because there's only about like 40 or 50 of us worldwide that do this and you know 
I go to events all the time. People don't really even know it exists. Yet. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping with the World Series of Rolling, I'll create the platform for more people to find us um, and just, you know, be able to expand like the, the different art forms that we're able to, to utilize in the type of week. How much flour, about how much flour is in each of these? Um, so, once you start getting into three dimensions, the, vo the volume of flour really adds up. Like, you would never think that this would probably be about six ounces. That's six ounces? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, the heads are probably about around four. Whoa. Yeah. I would have never guessed that. I would have been like, it's about a zip, zip and a half. So, yeah, so I did a collaboration a couple of months ago with Marty Grimes where we did the Hamza hen on top of the Marty missile. And the Marty missile is traditionally a pound. Um, and I based my measurements on the paper that he normally uses. So like I made the hand like that high and that wide basically. Um, and the hand itself was over a pound. So we kind of uh, had to scramble to get more flour to, to fill up the nest of it. It was pretty funny, but it ended up working out pretty well. That's what my, my, my next question was going to be. Is, is that the biggest one you've done? The most, the most flour in, in, uh, in a... In a... Oh, yeah. yeah, I think uh, that might have been the biggest one, probably around a pound and a half right now. Uh, last year for the World Rolling Championship called My Raw, I did, uh, it was probably around a pound, but it was the head of Medusa. It had okay. 23 snakes coming out of the head, too. Yeah, that one's a real while to figure out. Because, um, like, all the snakes are, like, woven into the head itself. Wow. Like, like, you can spark it up at the top and it should... And, it was and did you... Could you light all of the heads and smoke well, it, or...? So I had it designed where I was able to hold the, the the bottom of the head with my hand, which is was supposed to go on top of a Marty missile, but I ended up just keeping it for myself because it just looks so cool in the room. Um, but it has uh, four or five snakes that are coming straight up. So I have like a handle. Okay. So like I can like hold it up like this and it looks like you're holding the head of Medusa. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's man, that's fire. Well, this is, it's super unique, bro. I appreciate you rocking with us here at the, at the party last night and then yeah. rocking here at the booth and showcasing the art. It's good to you guys having me out, man. It's been a, a dream. Yeah, it's, it's super unique and we definitely, man, well, I'm excited to keep seeing where this goes. So if you guys don't know, World Series of Rolling, check that out. MJ Motsi, man, we're here at the 2024 Hall of Flowers, Ventura, California. Stay tuned for more interviews and content.